<laughs> Zombie, well, now, throw me at a Karth. Now my next turn has to be yeeting Ko at Karth. <laughs> That's against you, Karth. Yeah, that hits. And the second one is a miss. Which uh, brings us to Karth's turn. You see, you hear Ko scream, and then see him get thrown against the side of a wall. Not my little buddy! That's still not working. Hmm. Get to him and or get him range. Let's see. The only other person who has any healing magic is in full kitty cat form and can't, can't really do hammer. <laughs> if she figures, I mean, you can you can run over there and still as weird as it is, I'd allow you to do the one action heal in that form. I mean, these tables here would be difficult terrain. Yes. Uh, give me an acrobatic check. Hold on, I'm trying to see if I want to go over that way or just do this. I'll give you a chance to try to just jump over. Okay. Or basically run on top of, like, hop okay. from one to the other kind of thing. <laughs> Let's try this with my plus one acrobatics. You do it. Hell yeah. The DC was 10. Okay, I managed to get right there. And, okay, I didn't cast a spell this turn. I just used all movements. All right, that's my turn. Okay. I've got Ko Ikri. Take him out. Okay, don't come to me. The dragon, <laughs> that was turn not an and starts climbing over the uh, merchant stall and then tries to bite you, Karth. That is a hit. Oh, I rolled total damage. That is some damage. And the dragon's turn ends. It is now Doc's turn. Who draws his weapon? Runs to here. Oh, and swings his weapon. Which brave. is a great club. He misses. That brave stupid boy. <laughs> it is now Jotus's turn. Large cat next to him just rolls her eyes. <laughs> if he survives this, Hickory's gonna have to teach him how to fight. Jotus runs and hides. Hickory, <laughs> it is your turn. I attack. Hmm. Whoa. I didn't see that one coming, man. Yeah, I don't know how to fix this. That, I think, is one of those things where you hit. Yes, it is. Oh my god. You saw what my die roll was. Yes, you rolled a two, and you hit. How you like in <laughs> that new uh, potency room? That, I like it very much. <laughs> it is barely standing, but it is still standing. I attack it again. That is wow. a hit. That is, uh, it's dead. It collapses to the ground, falling apart in a pile of blood and guts. I cast mirror image on myself. Would have been better to cast it on Ko. I can't. I know, but uh, Ko can cast it on himself. Which he should have. Okay. I mean, yeah, at this point. Shut up, Ko, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not dead he yet. Does, he does his wide swing. This is against both you and Doc's uh, AC, Satori. That is a hit. This is Satori. Okay. That is a hit for Doc as well. This is Doc. He... Use the orc ferocity. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> it swings at Doc again. That's my boy. Hey, oh. Ah, uh, and misses as Thank Doc God. screams a blood curdling orc cry. Satari, it's your turn. If you let Doc die, uh, Karth will never forgive you. Yeah, well, I can't heal him now. I'm just going all out. <laughs> you could eat him and claim the uh, zombie. Bit. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead and take an alignment shift there. <laughs> oh, oh cool. whoops, that's I still like self. Oops. Roll dice there. 
Can you even reveal, reveal that? that? It's a 23. No, but... I can't. I cannot reveal that. You want me to just roll again? It's a 23. Uh, you hit. Right. But, uh, yes, I unprivatized that. Yeah, I was just doing that to try and fix things. <laughs> it's a plus two. I can't. I've removed the effect from my sheet, and it's still applying, so I don't know why. It's still applying. All right, it's still standing. Keep going. It is still standing. These things have a ton of HP. How does it miss? Yeah, I'm a cat. This is pretty much what I do now. There we go. That, that one hits. It's my cat. 23. My kitty cat. Yay, I figured it out. 23, that's good damage. All right, last one. Out? Look at my token. Yeah, you found it? Yeah, Hell found yeah. It. Make sure you find the one that removes all of selected two or you'll never get rid of it. I assume that misses. 17? Yes, it misses. Okay. God, I love that effect though. It's so cool. This gets poured down your throat, Co. Oh! How helpful. <laughs> the merchant opens and pours a potion down your th throat. Awesome. And I then totally closes. No, no, he, no, he can't close the door back. I'm sorry. He was standing there right there at the door. He's out of action, so he can't close the door back. Yeah, pull out potion, open door, feed potion. Yeah. Yep. Co, it is your turn. Touch me if you need healing, Co. Stand up first, since you're prone. I could stand up. <laughs> or you could lightning bolt. Is there stuff in the way to do that, though? I mean, you can do both. Alright, yeah, I'll stand up, and then... Let's go ahead and... You can, as one stride action, five-foot crawl. You could lightning bolt and then crawl inside this building with this merch. <laughs> No, I'll just stand. Uh, like, honestly, then... Kyle, you should probably just hide and cast spells through windows. <laughs> Against the dragon. Boom. Oh. Ooh. Fail this. No. Hammer. We didn't fail it. That's his best oh, save. still 20 damage. That is a lot of damage. He's still uninjured. All right. Um, that's my We turn. keep going again. Actually, that's not his best save. That's his second best save. So a zombie, I'd be surprised if Tex was best. But kid me. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. And in turn. That is inside the space of the other one. Yes. Carson, it's your turn. Okay. I hope he's not strong enough to pick up the bodies of his friend. <laughs> no, no. There, are, there are size limitations on his corpse throw. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it, is, it yeah. actually reads on the thing it is most commonly used for them to throw stamblers and normal zombies and things like that. So they will throw zombies at you, which will then hit you and do damage, and then stand up and continue trying to eat you because they're zombies. Mm. That sounds like some Resident Evil crap. Alright. Cart's gonna five foot step and lay on hands co. Okay. It's Look just at your a little lay on hands roll. Um, I think it is just yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. That's right. Yeah, he he made a thingy for it. Come on now. Yeah, be proud of me. <laughs> uh, so I step, lay on hands, and I'm gonna cast shield. Okay. Can I? I can only do it on myself. I can't cast shield on him. Yes, right? shield is tough. Gotcha. gotcha. All right, and that'll be my turn. Ah, uh, no, the dragon doesn't move up. It curl uncurls its neck, whipping its head back and forth, slinging some stuff off of this merchant stall. It has no lower part to its jaw, as you can tell, but it does raise up the top part, and you see this gurgling liquid kind of boiling in its throat as it begins flying out towards both of you. Wait, both of who? Uh, Karth and Ko. Okay. The zombie dragon breathes a wave of fetid viscera. That sounds pleasant. Yes, I need a reflex save. Okay. Uh, 
Miss. Oh god, it's gonna hit that guy, isn't it? Yeah, that march oh, yeah. is not Yeah, he needs a uh, reflex save too, doesn't he? <laughs> Poor guy. Where is Bulwark? That'll teach him he, to be brave. He, uh, he did not net 20. He critically failed. Uh, d we'll figure it out later. Just go ahead and do your reflex save, okay. and that should be plus three from Bulwark, right? Yes. Okay, so that's 25. Uh, it is factoring your dex mod. Are you supposed to get a dex mod with a full plate? Mm, no. So we will just add two to that, so there's 24. Okay. So, Ko gets a 26. Karth gets a 22. And before you roll damage, if there's any, I'm going to use Bless Sacrifice as a reaction for Ko. Okay. Uh, you both failed your reflex save. Uh, throw Bless Sacrifice in the chat, please. Okay, let's click Protector Sacrifice and read <laughs> what it does. And it is heightened. Just taking damage. So 12 damage? Yeah. So how much damage are you taking? 12. It's from Co. Okay. So Co, whatever damage you get is minus 12. Karth, whatever you get is plus right. 12. Correct? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna roll all this together. I don't think none of you have anything that factors with poison or bludgeoning, do you? No, nope. no. Okay, I will just roll all of this together. Fetid viscera attack. Ugh. Ow. I'll take. I I, I would have been fine. Of, like I would have been at one HP, but. <laughs> hey, that's. Your, uh, it's more than zero. Yeah, take your 22 there, Ko. Tarth, take your 46. <laughs> I accidentally did 10 for some reason, so I just did 36 more. I don't think we're supposed to see that. I don't care. Okay. You don't know what that is, so it don't matter. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Yep. No idea. <laughs> what is it then? Yeah, no clue. I, I don't is... know. I can't. I can't speak to it. I have no idea. Now I'm asking you, what is it? Oh, how, long... how many rounds it has left on the breath weapon? How long it takes to recharge? Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. Acid damage. Okay. Maybe. That's how many more golems are coming in. I mean, it says out. round on it. Zombie. <laughs> whatever. Yes, it's right. how many. It's how many more rounds you have left until more zombie dragons come. Doc yeah, attacks wait. once. Doc attacks twice. The doc attacks thrice. Joe just hides. Egri, your turn. Uh, I'm trying to oh, tell him. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, I forgot to uh, double damage for you, which is way more than your seven. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. There is just I'm a puddle. Gonna, <laughs> I'm, good, no, I'm just going to remove him from the battle map. There are you can't even tell there used to be a person there. It's just a bunch of fetid viscera. Well, now I feel so bad. <laughs> Dude, he opened the life. door to save your life and it got him killed. As soon yep. as you touch me, you'll feel better. That, not that guy. Not, not emotionally, but you'll feel better. <laughs> yeah, make physically. Make what you doing there, Miss Secret? Oh, I was waiting on you to finish doing that. Yeah, don't wait for me. You'll be waiting forever. The corpse is rough terrain. If you were attempting to walk through it. You also cannot end your turn standing on top of that pile of blood and bone and flesh. Against the dragon? Yes. That hits. As you tear through it, the same thing happens. You do more damage to the slash. Okay, cool. And I'll. Uh, I got a lot again. more to do music files, and I kind of wanted to try them out. I attack again. With a hit. I can't hear any of the music, so. Oh, I just turned it off. So now I'm looking for another song. 
I didn't hear play. it at any point, so. I usually play my own music. I know, that's why y'all never get to hear these cool music sounds I have in here. I know. And then I, and then I do them here. This guy does his try to attack both of you thing. <sighs> Finally, a large came back to bite me. That's a hit. <laughs> and against Doc, who hits the ground. Uh, well, not much I can do about that at the moment. <laughs> this is his initiative move. No. You see him get hit hard enough that it snaps his chest in. Blood pours out of his mouth and his neck snaps to the side. The zombie picks him up and throws him at you. So he'll be fine. Oh, dog, no! I've I don't been, think he hit you. Uh, no. I've only been back a week and my son's already dead. I don't, I don't know who can hear the song, but I really like whatever this is. Uh, maybe I need a refresh? I, I can't. I hear it. You can hmm. go to your. I just stopped it. You can go to your audio thing and do your. The volume sounds are off, players. So. Yeah, the volume's up. Sorry. So. All right. Let's let's see if I fix this not raging thing. <laughs> I like having the music and the sound effects, but I know like half of you usually just have music playing anyway. Hey. hey. Arthur, Arthur usually listen to like Bulgarian death metal to stay in the mood. Pretty much. I mean, that, me too. That is a crit. Yay! And I remember critical specialization, but it does nothing against zombies. They're already slowed. <laughs> yes, they are. And, uh... uh that's plus dead. four. Gosh darn it, I did I a I am raging. Alright. <laughs> it collapses to the ground and a bunch of viscera in door. Okay. Uh, it's kind of too big. I can't fit closer, so I guess that's where I'm stopping. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. There we go. <laughs> All right. I go charging in. All right. I have reach. I don't even need to get any closer. So, second attack. On the dragon. More claw action. Yay. That's a hit. This is giant Bengal tiger just comes running up. I don't know if Baker, you don't know who this tiger is. I mean, I, I mean, there's it no, attacked there the dragon. No way but... you could figure out what's happening. I know, no I mean, I... way. It attacked the dragon, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah, so 22. Good point. And the last attack, because I am quickened. Uh, you attacked once, move. Yes. Okay. And nope. that is a miss. <laughs> <sighs> Father, no! <laughs> Co? <laughs> well, Arth, that was the merchant you were talking to about your uh, gilded hammer. Oh. Actually, yeah. no, because I wanted to continue that storyline, so here's a different version. He still wants to talk to you in heaven. That looks like a fireball that it is designed is to only hit enemies for once. Holy crap. No. Something must be wrong. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Dragon says, damn it. Spells. Zombie says, I hug fireball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, that works. Boom. Zombie is still up. Jeez. So is the dragon, in case you were wondering. One action to touch Karth for that vital beacon. Uh, Karth, can you toss that into the dragon, again, please? Yeah. So it's two. D so it's heightened, so the first touch will be 5d10. Well, then, uh, Karth, roll 5d10 as your vital essence flows into uh, Coth. That is exactly middle. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Take it. Uh, Karth, I believe you can... Yes, you can benefit from this yourself. It 
looks like. You can, like, use the interact action to heal yourself. Ooh. All right, zombie hope. Dum bum ba da dum bum bum. Attacks a car. Go away. And co. This is against both of you. Oh. It's a miss. It's a miss. Oh. Y'all got lucky. Yeah. Karth, it's your turn. Y'all got bad. real <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Wait, he's uninjured? <laughs> what? What am I missed over here? <laughs> I took one hit. You want to know, you wanna know <laughs> what is extremely amazing about Vital Bond? Or Vital Beacon, I'm sorry. What? If Karth had just gotten hit, odds are he's at 10 HP. Odds are he would have dropped unconscious. Ko could continue touching him to heal. Yep. He's <laughs> like kicking, <laughs> kicking my dead body. Just use Orc Ferocity. Uh, I mean, I know you can't do that, but... <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. So, you are aware your son is dead. <laughs> oh, man. If only it took Share Rage this level. <laughs> that would be so perfect. <laughs> Come back here! Garth's gonna touch himself. <laughs> <laughs> My son is no, dead! Karth just starts furious. Hammer for D10. It go down a D10 till it's out? Yep. Oh, no, no, no it don't. No, oh, it goes no. down to 5D8. <laughs> yeah, it goes down to... Oh, yeah, 5D8, sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. 5D8 now. And then 5D6, and then 5D4. Translated from common. Oh. Karth is speaking in tongues. <laughs> exact same healing. I'm gonna step up and hammer this zombie. Okay. Come on, I believe in you. I'm add the plus one for my minor curse. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. You swing your hammer at the zombie. Who is in the process of still kind of doing that overarching swing? So you kind of you miss him and slam into the ground, cracking some of the pavement under you and throwing yourself off as you feel the reverberations come through your arm and it hurts like hell. You take one point of damage. I'm going to get more flavorful with my nat ones. Okay, that's my turn. Well. Guess what's happening here? The dragon. Yeah. It's uh gonna bite at the kitty because that's the biggest thing in front of it. <laughs> what? I'm so small. <laughs> that's it. And then it's going to claw at Ikri. So piercing damage? Okay. That is a miss. Ikri? Stop yeah. that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jotus doesn't do anything. He creed, it's your turn. In order for me to have something that can consistently hit Ikri means that it consistently crits everyone else. <laughs> As Ko is learning. I get there and flank the dragon and attack it with sudden charge. So go ahead and do that. Uh if you sudden charge at your first thing, you would lose quickened anyway. Yeah, I know, that's why it doesn't change anything. Yeah. Well, that is a miss. No, it ain't. It's a hit. What's flanking? Yep. You are flunking now. Nice. And then I dueling parry as my last action. I didn't see that coming. That blew my mind. Tatari, it's your turn. All right. Wow, I mean, that there's just... This is so... Yeah, I'm clawing it a whole bunch. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that is a hit. Ain't no law when you drink in the claws. Everybody turns and attacks the car. Oh my gosh, <laughs> why is... I've done like three different things to fix this not raging thing, and none of them are working. Ugh. Obviously, you need to not use your macro. Apparently. But I didn't use it to start this game. It, it, <laughs> I don't know why it was on in the first place. Whatever. But, and that is a miss. Yeah. And that is a miss. misses. <laughs> a 
Why? What have you done? He throws a rock at you, Oh! Dude. <laughs> Wasn't us. He just had a rock inside. Yes. Commoners have infinite rocks. Oh, cool. That's them, uh, okay, that, them's so, broken. Ko, he throws what says rock on his character sheet, but is actually a piece of viscera that may or may not be from his father. And he is screaming at you. Gross. Gross. He does see what we're fighting, right? No. <laughs> Alright, well. My turn, right? Yes, it is. Alright. On the dragon and the zombie. I was really expecting you to be like, I'll spend my first action to close the door. <laughs> I, I, I honestly <laughs> might have done that. Close the door. <laughs> there you go. I should have drugged the commoner outside and be like, you see this? <laughs> Want to die? Yes. Ooh, yeah, that got him. He had exactly ten health. And then Until you the close the door. <laughs> Which brings us to Karth. I'm searing light, the dragon. Okay, go ahead and don't even bother rolling it. You're gonna miss. So. I hate you. <laughs> You I'm missed. gonna hero point that. <laughs> Whoa! You hit. Yeah. Holy crap! No. Uh -oh, what do we and, do now? And it's high. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what happens now. We <laughs> forgot the it's Supposed to be fire and good. So it's I an can... extra five d six for the good, right? Yeah. yeah. So the target is good. So give me another five d six. And it is heightened, so. The fire damage increases by 2d6, and the good damage increases by 2d6. And why didn't you roll that? I just do, do, just do slash r 4d6. Okay. The dragon is dead. Pew. You hit it in its throat. It shears off, and the blast of light blows out the back of it enough. That the remaining flesh and bone holding it together gives out and its head collapses to the ground and falls in. Oh, Boy, I finally hit one of those. I am going to end combat. Just just typical. I cast you mirror image and then nothing attacks me again. <laughs> it attacked you once, it just missed. Well, oh, yeah, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real hard to hit at this point. <laughs> also, there's a big meow meow in front of everyone. I, mean, I assume it just wears off as soon as combat's done as normal, unless you want to say it lasts longer. I'm fine with that. Oh, but... yeah, no, that is specifically part of your rage. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Neat trick there, Satari. What? What was that? You, you may dismiss the enlarge, if you like. I don't think that's the first thing on her mind right now. <laughs> Fair. Let's, uh... The, uh... Cars running over to his son. Oh, oh yes. Are you guys okay? Uh, uh, I, I, I think so. Who, who, who was that, car? How does that hit you? Uh, yes. Look at how they massacred my this, boy! This this 14-year-old boy opens the door and swings a sickle at you and cuts you, Ko. I saw that, right? If you can see that, then yes, you saw that. I saw that, okay. <laughs> I have this. If I was evil, I'm not casting it. But if I was... <laughs> yeah, that's a good No, thing. No, a better option would be Vampiric Maiden. <laughs> um... Are we out of combat? Like, I can cast a spell? Yeah, you were out of combat. Alright, I'm gonna cast that and that to disarm. Okay, but, go ahead and do it. Crit! Okay. That, 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 you, that's actually disarm crit. you critically disarm him, so I'm gonna say you sling the sickle, like, out into the street somewhere. He looks at his hand, screams, slams the door in your face. 
No, no, it just falls in a square. You have to crit to actually get the weapon out of their hand. I want crit. him to fling it across the town square, so Aww. shut up. Aww, okay. <laughs> Fine. Ikri, it flies into you, doing damage. Okay, do it. Roll it. Yeah, I'm gonna and move that, away. Hold on, first I have to see if it got past your mirror images. Yes, because that's still up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, you get to your son. He is lying there as a crumpled corpse. Difficult to even recognize. As you begin kind of looking around, you see that there are several other dead bodies lying around too. Uh, at least four or five that you can make out in the general area. Most of the people seem like they were able to get indoors to take a shot. Um, I'm going to pick up his body. And I'm assuming I don't even have to do a medicine check. He's dead dead, huh? You can see his insights. As you go to lift his body, his head almost falls off. I'm gonna support his head. <laughs> Hold him like a baby. That's all he's ever wanted his whole life anyway. Wow. Alright, that was unnecessary, but... <laughs> I, I did what I could, Carl. I'm sorry. Not your fault. Foolish, brave boy. Takes after me. Even once I was in front of him, he still pushed forward. That's what the Hammer tribe does. Fight till the bitter end, if it means protecting the innocent and weak. He served his tribe well. Would, would you like a moment alone? I'm going to take his body to my people. I'm sure Marigold is there. If you wouldn't mind just securing the town, and I'm going to rendezvous with the orcs and make sure they set up a perimeter around the borders. And I'm going to find his mother. Of course. I'm going to tell her at some moment, I might be able to read some things that others can't. <laughs> now that I'm not on all fours. <sighs> He's still inside. He does come out and begin helping clean up and take care of everything. Uh, yes, he is lying on the floor over here, just sobbing, in his, like with his head in his hands. Oh. Kid. What was your father's name? Stan. Stan. His name was Staniel. <laughs> I hate that so much. His friends called him other NPC the GM didn't feel like naming. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he, he was a hero. And... and look what it got him. He tried to save you and that got him killed. This is your fault. You should have just died. Then my father would be alive. I understand, but he did what he thought he had to do, and I'm sorry I couldn't save him. He's supposed to be the saviors of Yaren, the protectors of Yaren, the heroes of Yaren. You're nothing! You just got my father killed. Get out of my house! Well, this isn't Yaren. All right, well, that was fun. Did you say, well, this isn't Garen? 
<laughs> I said that after I closed the door after I left, yeah. Yeah, this, you're in the country of Nier. Yeah, here's the country. <laughs> we uh, are in Nier. This is Jared. I thought that was the city that we... No, the capital city is Rayholt. Rayholt. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Ko, you <laughs> gotta lay memory. off the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Come up to Jodas here. Well, um... If... Do, do you like do statues of people that do heroic things or something. What do you mean? One of the merchants gave his life to save us. The, the shrine here is to the woven hammer. We have statues of you. This is not a shrine to merchants. Although, if that is true, his family and all will of course be taken care of. Okay, it was Staniel, Stan, whatever. His boy's ah, rather. St ah, Stan the man. He oftentimes <laughs> would give people discounts or even give free treats such as pastries and cheeses to the children who came through here. Sounds like he was a good guy. He was a great guy. Oftentimes he would take in orphans. His own son was an orphan. Uh, the the road, the travels on the road are very dangerous. Sometimes caravans will come in and people have died. Those people were parents. He would take in the children and raise them the best he could. He was a beacon of hope and light in this community. Oh. He had to die. But the, if the way he died, if what you say is true, I have no doubt. Just, he was just such a selfless man. Yeah, yeah, that stupid dragon. Um, well, if we figure out anything, okay, bye. We should, uh, hey, hey, did I tell you, I will be in the temple if you need me against just hurriedly walking that way. Okay. Oh, this this sucked. Yes. Why does this always happen to us? <laughs> Welcome to our lives. Something, I get the feeling this might have happened, regardless of us being here. Are you sure about that? No, but I don't see how our presence here would have affected. I know how this happening. Oh, well, how would that be cool? Well, you know, things that control undead. Something that probably knows will come for it at some point. <laughs> if they're talking about what they think you are, <laughs> you just laughed in our faces when we first met. And then we proceeded to kill. Oh, like, according to history. Now we're yes. back. Are you talking about the Lich? There is no connection between the two that I know of. Well, not that Oleg was connected to him, but Oleg was considered very powerful. If we were able to kill him, the Lich may think we'll come for him next. <laughs> that is troubling. Is that is true. For all we know, the Lich could be part of the prophecy. And knows we're supposed to come stop him. Yeah, but how would it know that we were here? I mean, yeah, word traveled about us through throughout Yaren, but I don't I don't see why any of the living people would have told the undead. Could have spies. It is a powerful caster. They are always to remotely see things. And what, he just like randomly scries on towns around the country? I mean, this town is called Hammervale. And he had a undead dragon. 
Hmm. A scout. Wouldn't put it past him to have tools available to find us. That was just a scout. This truly, this truly is something we're not yet ready for, I don't think. Regardless of whether this was for us or not, I don't think it really matters. People got hurt. And no, we may not be ready for it, but we still need to do something about it. I, I agree. The more we do about it, the more we will attract attention. We'll make sure that it's against us then. Then we'd better be smart about what we do about it. We can discuss it once we're done tending to our dead and our wounds. Yes, you all look much, much worse for wear than I am. I'll help out around here. You patch yourselves up. Ko, Satari, I believe I had a, I have a little vital energy flowing through me. If you wish to come up and touch me, it will heal your wounds slightly. Reach out and touch Karth. Very well. So it'll be 5d6 and then 5d4. Whoever wants the 5d6. I'll I take the 5d4. I assume I should take the bigger one. I got a lot more hit points to go through. Do wow, you. you're pretty consistent on that. <laughs> Aw. You see the vital divine energy sort of fade away as you touch him. Huh. And, then, and then Karth dies. It was a cursed version of the spell. <laughs> I, know that. I do have a character, a backup character. <laughs> the spell was so cursed it even killed your backup character. Dang. <laughs> There's just a random uh, kobold that just drops dead. That's not a curse. That's a GM just doesn't like you. <laughs> Seriously, that's just a straight hammer. We have so uh, many backup kobolds. This is going to become a party of kobolds if we start dying. I have a backup kobold. I'm okay with backup kobolds. <laughs> Karth is now going to actually carry his son to the outer where the orcs are. find a mare gold and break the news to her I'll start patching up you are able to locate me let me put on some sad music <clears throat> mare gold um, he died well defending the city of Hammervale I'm sorry I could not save him she looks at you, and she looks down at Doc, and she says in Orcish, As the hammer fells, so do the sparks rise. Karth nods his head and... People, people begin muttering that word, say that. You begin hearing a chant of Doc, Doc, Doc spreading throughout the tribe until just about everyone there is beating their hammers on their shields and just saying his name over and over and over. Karth is going to keeping in mind to support his head so it doesn't fall off <laughs> holds Doc above his head and starts they, they, chanting along with it. People are cheering. Hearing how he died, knowing how he died, people are cheering because Doc did the ultimate. The, what you can hope to achieve within the tribe of the Hammer. 
And Karth kind of looks around and sets Doc on the ground and kind of stands up and holds up his hand to silence everyone. I'm assuming they be quiet. Yes. And he says, I decree this now. We will protect Hammervale, but I want volunteers. I want warriors. We will burn Doc's body and we will wipe his ashes upon our face and our weapons. And I want you to spread out all over Yaren. Any undead you find, you destroy. You get awkward silence. Yeah. As many of the, as many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear Safari in the crowd. Yeah. I'm assuming I'm back in town. I'm not there. I don't think. <laughs> You get awkward silence for a moment. You see many of them kind of looking back and forth at each other. For longer than you're probably comfortable with. And then you hear this low rumbling. Followed by a boom 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 boom. You see these three guys come out with these massive drums beating them. And you hear everyone screaming, The war drums have sounded to Kadrus! That, that is the name of the Necropolis. You have just <laughs> declared war on the Necropolis with your old tribe. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead and add that into my the old character biography. Any revelry, any fun, any people enjoying themselves immediately stop. Everyone is scrambling and getting armed and getting together. Marigold grabs your arm and goes, What have you done, Karth? In your quest for vengeance, you have just sent them all to their death. I guess I didn't hear the part where... I was asking for volunteers, and we needed some people to stay behind and protect Hammervale. 100% just volunteered, though. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to sit down and... There is about to be an army of about 250 orcs marching on Kadrus. Hmm... Karth's gonna call a war meeting. You do that. I'm gonna say that they're not just leaving immediately. They are making preparations. Yeah. Preparations will take a fair bit of time. So your war, your, the war council meeting will take place in two days time. Uh, what are the other three of you doing as Karth is inciting a, a war? I assume I'm starting to patch up Co here and myself. Karth, it took an hour for Karth to get over there. Okay, so... so you, if you want to roll checks, do it. Alright. Ikri, you're not being healed, right? Uh, correct. Okay, I, I, I highly doubt, knowing Ikri, that she is standing still, either. She's oh, probably... No. She's walking helping... Around, with... com she's comforting, even if it is so much just hugging someone, she's helping around town. Oh, I was gonna say, I was helping with battle cleanup, anything that involves, like, heavy oh, lifting. Oh, yeah, yeah stuff, had been, stuff had been destroyed, stuff like that. Uh, Ikri, you do see out of the corner of your eye something glimmering in blue, and you look and you see Mason's portal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was wondering when he'd show up. Ah, cool. I bought a couple more scrolls for you. You know the couples that I uh, purchased before? doesn't seem like we've needed them no but now there are at least three of us that have been repeatedly bitten I'm worried about that night when it comes oh yeah the werewolves yes you are the only ones that wasn't bitten there you and Karth so I think you need to be ready Well. 
but we we need to know. And I don't know any other way but to let it happen. Time will tell, I guess. I, mean, I don't know what just happened today. I turned into a full tiger today, so I I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that was new. Yes, very. That was not what I thought would happen. Now the spirits talk to me, and now I've got electricity trying to burst out to me. A lot's changed since we've come back. Yeah? And we once again succeeded and failed. Doesn't seem like we can really do it right, can we? Doesn't matter how hard we try. Uh -huh. I guess since we have a minute here. Uh, cool. My uh, my diary is a little uh, full now. I'm thinking of getting another. I think I'll put this one up in the library. I, I mean, I guess that's in your tower, correct? Not that we have many books there. <laughs> I think we have more than just that room for the library. Hmm. You can keep it there, though. Should be safe. Yes, it will be safe, and I, I, th I think I'm done with it for now. So anyone can read it if they so desire. You see, Karth come back to you guys, looking fresh, like a bunch of emotions on his face, frustrated, anxious. Your son just died. I just, she's going to assume it's just based on that. <laughs> um, so, I might have just waged war on an undead necropolis. You did what? Yeah. Did Call we... it a, uh, a sort of crime of passion, but when I got back to my people, they started chanting my son's name and I along with him, and I just started thinking about the people that I have lost, that I could have saved. And apparently, and this is without my knowledge, there is a necropolis called, uh... Oh god. <laughs> my, no my notes are being stupid. Hold on. <laughs> Codrus. And yes, I, yes there is. I sort of asked for volunteers to burn my son's body, cover their flesh and, his, and weapons in his ashes, and spread out through the land, killing undead, and war drums started beating, and they said, we march on Cadrus, and every single orc volunteered. But we're having a war council in two days, so I'm going to uh, play a little damage control on that. But yeah, just to keep you guys apprised of the situation, there is a necropolis, so that might give us some answers as to where these things came from. Karth, yeah. please yeah. understand, we know very well where they came from. You were there. Uh. Was Karth ever at the necropolis? You were where it started. <laughs> you were where it started. <laughs> yes. We unleashed the lich. The, 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 uh, Kardras. Formerly known as Goodman. Yes. I never got that information. <laughs> Undead have been seen scouring the lands, going to smalling, smaller surrounding fishing villages. The undead come in. They do not attack anyone unless attacked first, but they begin dismantling buildings, even if people are asleep inside them. They have been seen going into wooded and forested areas and clear-cutting the entire area. Undead horses have been seen pulling wagons where they toss the lumber and the stone on and take it back to what used to be Goodman, where they have been building a city for the past 50 years. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it... Are, are politics always that easy with orcs? 
Surprisingly, Wait. yes. <sighs> well, I know we've had a really long day, but I think I ha might have some good news. We could use some. I saw the portal to Mason's shop. No. I mean, that... Yeah. That's not good. Are not sure? good? What? Are we sure it's Mason's portal? I mean, it looked like it. Last we found out, he was being actively hunted by those dogs. Yeah, the hounds of Tindalos. That doesn't look like they were successful. Let's go talk to him. The issue is, is we may bring more attention to him. I... <laughs> I think he I'm does that on his own. <laughs> I'm gonna take ten minutes to refocus. So, you ask everyone to wait ten minutes before you go talk to Mason? Yes. Then do it. Uh, Ten minutes is all I ask. I need to, uh, if we're gonna go into this portal and do Mason things, if he is actually there, I need to, uh, regain some of my divine might. Well, alright. You... I need a, I, when you refocus, you must be doing it in some form of appropriate manner because of the unique structure of Karth. I'm gonna say that you go kneel down in front of the statue of yourself. Hammer Skippy. <laughs> I don't know. Can, can you can you do that while I uh, patch you up, or is that too distracting? Yes, he can refocus while you patch him up. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank, thank you, Satori. And <laughs> I'm sorry that I got you all involved in a war. <sighs> One I mean, thing at a time. One thing at a time. <laughs> Karth, you're a man of action. That's what I've always liked about you. Technically, he attacked us first. Hey, there we go. That's actually a good roll for once. <laughs> Ten minutes has passed. Uh, Satari does a very decent job of patching you up. You have refocused, of course. All right. <laughs> Come on, big man. Let's go. Standing before you is Mason. Oh. Uh... Long time no see, Mason. <laughs> he he cast a spell. Oh, that, okay. That puts a black orb floating right here. That then arcs out into four points and hits all of you. All four of you reflexes. <coughs> oh God. Okay. 